We're talking to Forrest Taylor of the Cochran Firm here in Dothan, Alabama, and we're talking to him today about the BP oil spill. Forrest, how long has it been since that disastrous oil spill? It's been five years since the BP oil spill, which was the worst environmental disaster in America's history. The blowout occurred on April the 20th, 2010, and for the next three months, five million barrels of crude oil spewed into the Gulf of Mexico, affecting over a thousand miles of coastline. And just to give you an idea of the magnitude of this oil spill, the BP oil spill would be equivalent to 20 Exxon Valdez uh, disasters. Are we still seeing environmental effects from the BP oil spill? Absolutely. Oil is still washing up on beaches. Oil is still found in the estuaries that are the breeding grounds for much of the seafood that we consume. Several studies have linked the oil spill to adverse health effects on marine life. For example, there was a study last year that found that tuna and amberjack that were exposed to the oil spill developed severe deformities of the heart and other organs. Another study linked the oil spill to the unusually high number of dolphin deaths just off of Alabama's coast. In fact, fish populations have been dramatically affected by the oil spill. For example, the population of juvenile red snappers is at its lowest point that it's been in decades. Now, didn't BP establish some sort of fund to compensate businesses and individuals who were affected by the oil spill? Technically, you're correct. Um, BP, in an effort to minimize civil litigation and minimize the threat of criminal prosecution, BP established a $20 billion fund known as the Gulf Coast Claims Facility, or GCCF. BP hired Ken Feinberg, a very uh, high-profile attorney, to administer the fund and manage the fund. While the GCCF looked really good on paper, in practice it was a complete disaster for the people affected by the oil spill. First, Mr. Feinberg was handsomely play, paid by BP. This called into question his objectivity and, and impartiality. Second, the GCCF was unfair, slow, and lacked transparency. In fact, an independent audit reported that over 7,000 claims through the GCCF were either wrongfully denied or grossly underpaid. So were any lawsuits ever filed as a result of all this? Yes, thousands of lawsuits were filed. They were consolidated in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Louisiana with Judge Carl Barbier presiding over the litigation. And in the spring of 2012, a settlement was reached between the plaintiffs and BP. In fact, the settlement replaced the GCCF. The settlement was a result of months and months of negotiations between the lawyers for the plaintiffs and the lawyers for BP. Everything seemed to line up for a very expeditious payment of claims under this settlement. That was until BP started filing appeal after appeal challenging the very terms it negotiated and agreed to in the settlement. While BP was unsuccessful at undoing the settlement, it was successful in greatly delaying the payment of claims under the settlement. Okay, is it too late now for businesses or individuals to file a claim? Andrew, we've got about one month left for people to file a claim. The deadline is June the 8th, 2015. And if you think you've suffered a economic loss or if your property has been damaged, you need to call the attorneys at the Cochran Firm and we can evaluate your claim free of charge. Time's running out. If you think you may have a claim, give Forrest Taylor a call at the Cochran Firm here in Dothan, Alabama at 334-673-1555 or visit their website, cochranfirmdothan.com.